of Fox Sports. We are Fox Sports. We are LA. Another gorgeous afternoon for baseball here at the Big A. It is Fan Appreciation Day. Fans streaming into the ballpark, seeing if the Angels can complete the sweep of the visiting Seattle Mariners. Hi, everybody from inside the Big A, and alongside my broadcast partner, Mark Gubas, I'm Victor Rojas. So glad you could join us once again for Angels baseball here on Fox Sports West. And last night, another nice victory for the Halos, a one-run win. Hopefully, uh, today, it's a little bit more than that. They've got a tough guy to face in Felix Hernandez, and we'll talk about that pitching matchup here momentarily. But since August 23rd, we keep talking about that day. That's when the Angels turn things around. Now 21 and 7 in that stretch. Yeah, Victor, just finding ways to win, whether it's, it's a good bullpen session or somebody coming out and getting a big base hit. The gloves have been great in the field. Just finding the ways to win, trying to get closer to that 500 mark. All right, last night we saw that C.J. Wilson was awarded the Nick Aidenhart Award for Angels Best Pitcher. He's going for his 18th win, and as I've mentioned, King Felix on the hill for Seattle. Nine in a row for C.J. He's been throwing the ball so well. Congratulations to C.J. Wilson for winning the Nick Aidenhart Award. What a pers- prestigious award for CJ. The reason why, he's been fantastic. His slider has been very good. His command of his fastball much improved as the season has progressed. His changeup good. All his pitch has been working down in the strike zone. Always has that ability to get the ground ball out and he's been unbelievable of late. Yeah, Hamilton in the lineup today as a DH. No Mark Trumbo though. Efren Navarro getting to start at first base. As we are just about ready for baseball here at the Big A on Fan Appreciation Day. So sit back and relax. Lineups at first pitch when we return.
set between the Angels and the Seattle Mariners. Handles looking for the sweep of the Seattle Mariners on Fan Appreciation Day, a gorgeous day for baseball here. Mild temperatures, and we thank you, the fans, for sticking with us. I know it's been a tough season, but fortunately for the Angels, since August 23rd, they continue to play very good baseball, 21-7 and seven marks since that August 23rd day. We were talking about it with Tim Salmon during the pregame show. It was that series that lasted two road trips ago that started off in Seattle. The three-city trip. Things weren't going well for the Angels, and we were looking at each other, talking on the flight up to Seattle. It's going to be a grind over the next five weeks to see if these guys could turn things around. Boy, oh, boy, they certainly have. Yeah, you thought that would be real, real tough at that point, but the reality is they turned around that road trip, and since that point, been the most consistent team in all of baseball. The records there, the team ERA, which was a sore point for a majority of the season. Bullpen, very good. The defense. Getting hits with runners in scoring position, that was important. That's turned it around, and that's why we've seen some very good quality baseball from the Angels for a long period of time, 28 games, as a matter of fact. Now the Halos have finally taken the field. We'll take a look at Eric Wedge, his starting nine for the Seattle Mariners this afternoon. Abraham Almonte will lead things off in center field. Franklin Gutierrez is in right, Kyle Seeger in third. Kendrys Morales at DH, Justin Smoke at first. Mike Zanino back behind the plate. It's Nick Franklin at second. He's had a nice series. Michael Saunders in left field and Carlos Trienfell is batting ninth and playing a shortstop, taking on C.J. Wilson, recently named the Nick Aiden Hart Award winner for the best pitcher on this Angels staff, 17-game winner this season. Yeah, he's been real good against Seattle. Played one his last four starts in here. Just over two, nine straight wins. As far as decision-wise for C.J. Wilson, his, his slider and curveball have been fantastic. He's been mixing in his changeup. More often also be able to throw for strikes, still able to get his fastball inside and a two-seam fastball away consistently for C.J. Wilson. Check out the defense behind C.J. Wilson this afternoon. Got J.B. Shuck at left, Mike Trout at center, Cole Calhoun is in right. The infield consists of Andrew Romine, Eric Ivar, Howie Kendrick, and Efren Navarro today from third to first. Hank Conger behind the plate. Anytime C.J. on the hill is going to get a lot of ground ball action, especially at third base. And Andrew Romine has played a solid third base generally a middle infielder shortstop second baseman just made one error and 26 chances at third base for the halos also went back in that pop-up in houston one of the best plays we've seen this entire season halos had a walk-off win two nights ago as cj still finishing up his warm-up pitches last night they scored early and often against joe saunders eventually took the loss but seattle did stalk back even scoring a run in the ninth inning on the home run by roll and by using Congratulations to him, 300th career home run. Rowell's not in the lineup today for the Seattle Mariners. And also, this is 29th, tying him with Ted Williams. Oldest. Always impressed to be in that same category with that name. We've seen that enough with yeah. Mike Trout and all the great names in baseball. Rowell Banez up there with Ted Williams now. Abraham Almonte leading things off, switch hitter and center fielder. 291 average for him. He looks at his strike. He was in the two spot last night. Ended up going one for three. A single. Also had a walk and a sacrifice fly. Picked up his eighth run, batted it. He wanted to peel and did not go. It's Jim Joyce over at first base. Joe West, the cowboy himself, behind the plate this afternoon. The singing cowboy. Yeah. I saw it with my own eyes. Almonte shoots one to right field. Leadoff man is on board via the single. And as Franklin Gutierrez comes to the plate, take a look at our Hyundai key to the game. Oh, Lana Del Rey, summertime sadness. We talked about how well this club has played with the first day of fall today. Well, since August 23rd, 21 and 7 for Mike Sosha's club. They've finally put all three phases together. Kind of sad to see the summer go away, but still an opportunity to be able to keep it going here in the fall. Yeah, today, uh, what, at like 144 Pacific time, but officially autumn. Don't ask me how I knew that. Yeah, how did you know that? Farmer's Almanac. They still have those. Digital edition now. Hey, they're uh, they're right a lot of times, best when they predict wet winters, cold winters, a lot of snow. What are they saying for California this year? I, I haven't gotten to that chapter. But I will tell you. Thank you. On the road trip, we got a flight up to uh, <laughs> over to Texas, so yep. why not? Franklin Gutierrez takes down low. It's one ball, no strikes. Gutierrez did not play last night. Got to start Friday. And in that ball game, went 0 for 5. Hitting 250, eight home runs, 22 runs batted in. 
Gutierrez, six for 18 against CJ with a home run, 333 batting average. Bouncer to third, Romine feeds Kendrick for one. Quick, relay to first. Round the horn, double play, two down. That's one thing CJ very good at is getting that ground ball. And Romine, we've talked about him being active at third. 5 4 3 double play. Well turned by Howie Kendrick, also. Hard hit, great feed. Howie gets it, gets rid of it quickly, turns it easy. 5 4 3 double play. So two outs, the base is clear, and Kyle Seeger coming to the plate. Seeger hitting 266, 22 home runs, 67 runs batted in. Had himself an 0 for 3 game last night. Picked up an RBI, also drew two walks. 30 doubles and a couple of triples. And is off the plate. One ball, one strike. Seeger just 3 for 19 against C.J. Wilson. Lefties in general this season is 176 against Wilson. One one, swing and a miss. Started the swing, then decided I don't want to swing, but the bat kept going through the zone. A good hard breaking ball again for C.J. Wilson during this stretch in which he's been very good. His breaking ball has been fantastic. It's interesting, Tim Salmon, the pregame show, talking about C.J. Kind of said more Dan Heron like pitching more to contact as opposed to trying to strike guys out and putting guys away. As Seeger swings and misses, Conger will have to throw on to first. And there's the strikeout. It's completed. Top of the first is in the books. J.B. Shock, Eric Ibar, Mike Trout to face Felix Hernandez with no score when we return. Mike Sosha starting nine for the Angels. The wins in the first two games of the series. The Angels down 76 and 78. J.B. Shuck leading things off at left. Ibar at short. Trout at center. Hamilton back in the lineup at D.H. Kendrick at second. Cole Calhoun at right. Conger behind a plate. Efren Navarro getting to start at first base in place of Mark Trumbo. And it's Andrew Romine. Rounding things out. That lineup will face King Felix Hernandez. He's missed some time due to an oblique issue, but this will be his 30th start. Four plus pitches for King Felix. Fastball, 89-94. Slider, curveball, and a plus-plus changeup, which he throws more and more often. Surprised, though, that he's on the hill today, especially misses some time. Trying to get at least one more start, possibly two, before the end of the season. One ball, one strike on J.B. Shunk, getting 293, a couple of home runs, 39 runs batted in. J.B. had the night off last night with Joe Saunders on the mound. They're going 0 for 4 Friday night's game. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball, 1 and 2. All four of his ground outs found Dustin Ackley on Friday night. 
Dustin Ackley not in the lineup today. So JB's happy. Yeah, no question. Ackley put, has played a solid defensive second base in the series so far, getting a day off. King Felix 8 and 13 in his career versus the Angels with a 3.95 ERA. Two balls, two strikes. Last start for Felix on September the 2nd against Kansas City. Three runs, six hits, six and a two third innings. Six punch outs and one walk. Well, he's 0 and 4 in his last four starts with an ERA well over seven. A little tapper foul. JB got a piece of it. You surprised at this stage of the season he would come back and make one, if not two more starts? Yeah, that, that's what I was saying because, especially with somebody like Felix Hernandez, you already know what you have in him. Now, when you have an oblique problem, every once in a while you try to compensate that with your mechanics, and you might develop some kind of an arm issue. That's why it's pretty surprising. I know he wants to pitch. He's very, very competitive, but it's up to the organization at that point to say, you know what? We know what you can do. We know you are our horse. The reason why we're going to try to compete next season. It's an interesting decision why they decided to put him out here today. And while he may want to, and if it works out well for him economically as far as pitch count, you'd figure that he's not going to be out there a whole lot, five, six innings. Yeah, he'll settle in around anywhere between 95 and 100 pitches, depending on how stressful those pitches are. JB goes down swinging. And there's out number one. Well, you see Felix, he's been pretty inconsistent throughout his career against the Angels, especially here at, at the Big A. Two and five with an ERA three and a half. Mentioned that eight and 13 overall. He's had some run support here, but unable to hold some leads, especially that game there down. The Angels are eight to one, eventually come all the way back. Mark Trumbo's had some great at bats, as has Mike Trout in his career against King Felix. Now, he did take the loss when the Angels were in Seattle on August 22nd, but at 10 strikeouts, one walk, two runs on three hits, six innings of work. Well, an interesting thing early on here for Felix, a lot of times in the past against the Angels, a lot of fastballs early on, you're seeing a lot of his breaking stuff between his curveball, slider, and changeup here already in the first inning. High bar yanks went down the line, but fouled. One ball, one strike on Eric. 268. Six home runs, 53 runs batted in. 30 doubles and five triples for Ibar. Shows bunt, bunts a foul. One thing King Felix does so well over that pitching rubber, maintains real good balance. Turns his back to the hitter. That allows him to stay tall over the pitching rubber and work downhill consistently. It's one thing we've seen Jason Vargas do. Something we've talked about about with Garrett Richards to be able to maintain his mechanics may indeed at some point do that type of turn to stay taller on that pitching rubber. See how he maintains his balance. Hides the baseball well and then all of a sudden as a hitter that baseball's on top of you. Doesn't throw 96 97 anymore, but still a firm fastball with an excellent changeup. One, two. And he got him looking. Two down. Back to back strikeouts for Hernandez, and then he'll bring up Mike Trout. It's one of those fun matchups as a fan if you're watching home. You get Mike Trout, the best young hitters you're going to see in the game against one of the best still. Think about young pitchers, Cy Young Award winner in the past, and King Felix. Picked up that Cy Young in 2010. 106 wins since 2006. And still just 27 years of age. Child on hitless last night, 0 for 4. Swings that first breaking ball. 327 average, 26 home runs, 92 runs batted in. A week left to go with some milestones ahead of them. Three against Oakland, four against Texas. That's the week ahead. One ball, one strike. 
You know, always the odd thing about baseball is it's a team sport, but it's driven by individual stats. And at this time of the year, especially for a hitter or even a pitcher at this point, you're thinking in terms of putting up those numbers, and it allows your team to win games. One and two. Took something off. Line of all speed between his slider and his curveball and very good changeup of his 15 pitches here in the first inning. Majority off speed. Not looking like a guy was dealing with any sort of oblique problem, that's for sure. Two balls, two strikes. And the reason why I said sometimes you alter your mechanics with an oblique problem. I had that before where you kind of you end up dropping your elbow down because you're trying to create a spot where you're throwing the baseball where you're not having any discomfort in your side. And when you do that, all of a sudden you create issues with your elbow and shoulder. Scoreless tie here at the bottom of the first inning for Hernandez. Back to back strikeouts of Shuck and Ibarn. Off the plate. Full count with Hamilton on deck. Three, two. And he struck him out as Hernandez strikes out the side. We've played one here at the Big A, and we have no score. Take a look at today's Coors Light cold hard fact. Revolves around C.J. Wilson. 17 wins as far as AL win leaders. Max Scherzer, 20 win season for him. 20 and 3 as a matter of fact. C.J. with 17 wins. Bartolo Colon with 16. And Chris Tillman, what a solid season for Baltimore with 16 wins. And that cold hard fact is brought to you by Frost Brew Coors Light. Here in the second inning, he'll face 4 5 and 6 4 Seattle. Morales, Smoke, and Zunino. Kendrys takes a little bit high. Morales hitting 277, 22 home runs, 78 runs batted in. Kendrys last night, 1 for 5, had a single. CJ falls behind here, 2 0. Kendry is a free agent to be. Takes a strike. Two and one. Kendry seven for 17 against C.J. Wilson. One of the few batters in the lineup against C.J. that had some success against him. 
Two balls, two strikes. And what we've seen, the Angel pitchers having success against Morales is throwing slow curveballs and change-ups. He was on that fastball, 2-1 fastball down. Mm -hmm. May throw a cut fastball in on the hands, but off speed, very good against him. Tried to backdoor the breaking ball and it missed. Full count. And Kendra swinging the bat well from the right side as we saw last year. He didn't play a whole lot against left-handed pitching. He's had a pretty consistent swing yeah. to the side of the plate. 273 this year and 198 at bats. Six home runs. 3-2. Morales hits one out toward right center field. Trout on his horse. The ball still drifting out. He leaps up, can't get it. He traps it up against the wall. Morales on his way to second with a double. And that's that swing once again for Morales. Hit the ball well the other way. Mike Trout almost made an outstanding play up against the wall. Had to go far. Almost tracked it down. Fastball right down the heart of the plate. And a good swing from Morales. Hit the ball the other way and almost made the play off the wall. Kept it from getting away from him. But too high even for Mike Trout off the wall. 33rd double the season for Morales. So Morales on board, leadoff double, second consecutive inning in which the Mariners have picked up a leadoff hit. Justin Smoke at the plate. Smoke hitting 240 this year. And he skies one out the left. JB shocking Mike Trout. JB is under him. Makes the catch. Morales stays at second. There's out number one. Let's now go to Los Angeles for a Fox Sports 1 game break. Next lot, Will, here. We're in the second inning. Kendrick Morales standing at second with one out. And Mike Zanino, the catcher at the plate. No one count on Zanino. 45 games for him. For being drafted last season from the University of Florida. 2-11 average, three home runs, and 11 home runs batted in. Four doubles as well. Offensively struggling. Defensively does a very nice job. One ball, one strike. CJ had Pardon a count here. Pardon. A chance to bounce a breaking ball if he wants or elevate a fastball. The outfielders allowed to play a little bit deeper than normal. Morales at second. Better opportunity if there is a base hit in the outfielder to throw him out at home. That breaking ball bouncing out in front of the plate. One ball, two strikes. Seattle last night, two for ten with men in scoring position in the series. They are four for 24. Nice job by Hank Conger blocking that slider in the dirt. C.J. Wilson with 11 wild pitches this season. Well played by Hank Conger. One, two. Ground ball down the line. That's a fair ball and will bring in a run. Zanino sneaks it just inside the bag as Calhoun gets the baseball in an RBI double Seattle leads at one nothing Sometimes it's not exactly how you hit a baseball it's where you place the ball right down the line I mean, If you're Navarro, you're not thinking of right-handed batters gonna hit a ball like that down the line against you. you're playing more so in the hole to cut off that angle Boy, jammed him. And inside out and right down the line for a double for Zanino, his fifth of the season. With now 12 RBI. A little bit of a get off me swing. That's what happens on occasion with cut fastballs in. For a right handed batter against Wilson. Conversation here to go over the scouting report, I believe, with Nick Franklin at the plate. Switch hitting short stops at a nice series. Yeah, five hits.
225 average for Franklin. 12 home runs and 44 runs batted in. Takes a breaking ball for a strike. Franklin hitting 238 from the left side, 198 from the right side. One ball, one strike. Kendrick Morales leading off the second with a double off the wall in right center. Zanino brought him home with a double down the right field line. Chopper to the left side. Ibar has it. In a hurry with Franklin running. And again, up for round number two. And coming up later in the game, we'll check out the big news from around the majors on the Carls Jr. Sports update. A couple legends have a special day in the Bronx today. And of course, some crazy wild action in the wild car race. I wonder who those legends could be. Zanino still at second base. Here's Saunders. Getting to start today in left field. 240 average for him. Saunders three for 21 against C.J. Wilson. Swings the first one. Bounces it foul. No one count. CJ early on through a lot of first pitch strikes. Seattle being very aggressive on the first pitch against him also. Saunders last night one for four. A double. A walk and three strikeouts. Strikeout to end the game last night against Ernesto Freire. Eight batters faced so far for CJ. Six first pitch strikes. Which is a good sign. But the conversation, a couple already in the game between Hank Conger and C.J. Wilson slowing down the pace of the game. That's what you, as a pitcher, you don't want to do. That's the worst thing you can do for your infielders and outfielders. Especially early in the game, you've already had a conversation before the game as far as your game plan. You know, that, how much can the conversation And you can see by the reaction change? by Mike Butcher saying, hey, we just went over our game plan. You want your, your fielders on your toes to make a great play behind you. Oh, and two. Dad, go back to Nuke Lelouch. Don't think, just throw. I always believe in that. Good old Crash Davis. <laughs> Words to live by. No question. Or in this case. I live that every day that way. Stop thinking. Yes. Just throw. 0-2. Oh, Up and in. That's a hitter looking out over the plate, expecting a slider or fastball away. Not giving in on the inner half of the plate. It almost got hit. Almost like he stayed in there anticipating that break. Exactly. Now, as a pitcher, you can go back in with another fastball, or that outer half should be open also. So you have two options on the hill right now. And Saunders strikes out swinging. The inning comes to an end, but Seattle strikes for a run and a couple of doubles. We'll head to the bottom of the second. M's lead at 1 0.
favorite catch this season. Board just climbing the wall. J.B. Shuck over the wall. Calhoun's diver. Andrew Romine's over the shoulder catch last week in Houston. Send us a tweet at, at Fox Sports West. You see the hashtags to the right. We'll give you the updated total, the, the final total. A little bit later on in the game as Josh Hamilton looks at a strike. All were amazing, that's for sure. It's all downhill for King Felix after striking out the sides in the first. Where do you go from there? You might as well back up some bases at this point. <laughs> Seattle with a 1 0 lead. Hamilton check swing foul. It's a no ball, two strike count. That's what we used to say in the opposing dugout when some pitcher would have punch out the sides in the first. Where do you go from there? That's it. Could strike out the side in the second. <laughs> We're hoping that's not the oh, case, though. Oh, yeah, this yeah. is true. Yeah. Oh, two to Josh. Takes a called strike three. <laughs> and there's the first out of the second. And in case you don't remember the catches for the ATT Twitter poll, here they are. Peter Borges in Baltimore. That was an unbelievable play against J.J. Hardy again. J.B. Shock over the wall. And out of nowhere, Cole Calhoun diving. And an over the shoulder like Jim Edmonds and Willie Mays. Andrew Romine playing third base in Houston. Howie Kendrick looks at a strike. Last night, as of last night, uh, J.B. Shuck's catch was leading the way. So be sure to tweet us your vote. Howie hitting 301, 11 home runs at 48, runs batted in. Takes low to even the count up. Kendrick has the D.H. last night 0 for 4. 23 pitches thrown by Felix Hernandez, 16 strikes. He's faced four batters, and he's punched out four. This is line of the alley in left center field. That's a base hit, if not more. Almonte can't get it. It rolls to the wall. Howie Kendrick at second base. First base runner of the afternoon for the Angels. Another double. Now 19 on the season for Howie. 20th career hit. And 66 at bats against King Felix for Howie Kendrick. Breaking ball. Pretty good pitch, too, if you're King Felix, but a better approach from Howie. Stayed with it. Hits the alley in left center field. Now in scoring position. Cole Calhoun at the plate. One out. Kedrick tying run at second base. Cole last night open four. Did not look comfortable facing Joe Saunders. Cole one for three in his pardon me, 0 for three in his brief career against Felix Hernandez. Boy, nice change up too. Most people when you see an 89 mile an hour pitch, you think fastball. That's his change up. Right, anywhere between 87 and 90 with his changeup. He backs up with a two-seam fastball, occasional four-seam at 93-94. Like I said, four-plus pitches for Felix Hernandez. There's a reason why he's one of the best in the game. Two balls, one strike. Well, solid defensively behind the play for Zanino also. That's a pretty good breaking ball. That gives you confidence on the mound that you could throw a breaking ball in the dirt when you have a catcher that moves that well laterally to be able to keep that in front of him. Yeah, very quiet behind the plate. Two on. We'd like to have that pitch back. Two balls, two strikes. He's got to try to stay back a little longer. Kept his hands back, but his front hip opened up for Calhoun. Slow break of ball, the hips open, hands there. And if he gets that pitch again, there's going to be some damage done to it. And you can see by the reaction by Felix, he knew he made a mistake also. Two two is inside, trying to go with that two seam fastball. And a full cow with Conger on deck. Seattle with a run in the second. Lead off double by Kendris Morales. Came home on the double by Mike Zanino.
payoff pitch. And he lays off. They're going to ask for help, and Rob Drake says he did not go. So it is a walk. First issued by Hernandez. Good at bat by Calhoun. Laid off some tough pitches over the course of the at bat against Felix. See if he was able to hold up. No question. Again, Zanino keeps that ball in front of him very well. Cole came into the ball game with a 3.49 on base percentage. So first and second now with one out. Here's Conger. Conger had the night off last night with Chris Iannetta behind the plate. Hank with seven home runs and 21 runs batted in. Last 28 games for Hank hitting 307. Had to start Friday night, 0 for 2. It's pinch hit for. Kendrick at second, Calhoun at first. That hit him in the back foot. They're loaded out for Efren Navarro. And you don't have to try to get out of the way. And Hank clearly didn't try to get out of the way of that breaking ball. Takes one on the leg. Loading the bases here against Hernandez. Wait on the toe. And the troubles for Felix Hernandez continues here at the Big A. Mentioned two and five record. Now loaded the bases up here for Navarro to be an opportunity to, be able to at the very least tie the game up, if not take the lead. Not an easy task facing Felix Hernandez from the day game. Efren fouls off the first one. Just one at bat this year, and he struck out the other day as a pinch hitter. Has a couple of hits in the big leagues, two for ten. Two for 11, pardon me. One double. Still looking for that first Major League RBI. Good opportunity here with Kendrick at third, Calhoun at second, and Conger at first. The Angels down 1 0. Ground ball toward the hole. Franklin has it on the backhand. Throws to second. And a terrific play. An extra tree and full to Franklin. They get the force out. The Angels tie things up. Well, outstanding all around by the middle infielders for Seattle to prevent more damage. Team fell not only in the backhand, a, a strong low throw to Franklin, the second who scoops and gets the force out. With that ground ball, he does get an RBI for Navarro's first major league RBI. Pretty good pitch from Hernandez, but a great play by Trienfeld. Good range and a good scoop by Franklin. He knows he's not turning two. He's just going to try to keep his foot on the base and take the force out. There's Andrew Roman with two outs now. Runners to the corners. Lays off. Andrews had himself a nice little series as well. Last night, one for three with an RBI. Two nights ago, three for four with two runs batted in. Overall hitting 274. Three doubles, ten runs batted in. He's got Cal Calhoun. At third, and Navarro at first. One on one. Good to see the Angels responding here in the bottom of the inning. Play was all downhill from that point. Yeah. Struck out the side. First inning. It's one thing we've seen from this ball club over the last month is no stress, even if you fall behind. It doesn't matter the, the score. Been able to chip away as Roman fouls it back one and two. Really been some really confident approaches at the plate, no matter who's on the mound against them. One, two, got him looking. Romine doesn't like the call, but the inning comes to an end.
The Halos do tie it up, though. They get a run on the hit, leave two on. Two in the books, one one tie. The 14th season now being accepted. Place your deposit now and receive priority for next season. For more info and to place that deposit, just call 888-796-HALO or log on at angels.com slash season seats. There you go. Thank you, Angels. For another great season as far as fans showing up here at the Big A. Carlos Trienfeld leading things off. 9 1 2 for Seattle. Pulls that one foul. Watch out. No balls, two strikes. Trienfeld got the start Friday night at third base. Went 0 for 2 before Kyle Seeger pinched in for him in the seventh. Came at batting 122, has a double, and two runs batted in. Thirty pitches thrown by CJ, 21 in the strike zone. Good sign for him early on. Down low, one ball, two strikes. One two pitch. It's up and in. Two and two now. Twice Twice two strikeouts. Sorry, Gooby. Three hits allowed. So Twice far. in this game going up and in to open up the outer part of the play for CJ. Good job as far as making sure the hitters are aware they will pitch inside. And Trifle lifts one out towards center field. Here comes Mike Trout. He'll dive and make the catch. I think that ball is going to hang up a little bit more for him, but a nice play by Mike Trout for the first out. Hopefully you all okay on that dive. Especially anytime you dive head first and then you have your arm extended like that, you worry about rib cage. Good play by Mike Trout once again. Showing that great range, that quick first step, and gets himself in position to make that play. He doesn't make that play with Trienfeld's speed. That's at least a triple. Almonte takes low. 
Two balls, no strikes. Center fielder had a base hit the right field to lead off the game. One thing you like to see out of a young player like Almonte is the fact that he's always thinking in terms of maybe drag bunt. He did it a couple times yesterday. Tried to from the left side, now here from the right side. Lifts this one out towards shallow right center field. Kendrick going out. Calls off Cole Calhoun. And makes the grab and emphatically making that call. Cole saw it and stopped. Especially, out. especially how deep that Calhoun plays. So he's always aggressive coming in. How he making sure that Calhoun is aware that he's calling that baseball. Good communication. How he before going back on a medium fly ball in the right field and at a collision with Calgill. Put him on the disabled list for quite a while. One oh count on Franklin Gutierrez who rolled into a double play in the first inning. 0 for 1. One one. So I'm gonna miss. One ball, two strikes. But if they can keep keep Franklin healthy and in the lineup, that helps this Mariners team offensively. Yeah, because he's got speed, not only power, but speed. Multi-dimensional type player on the offense. Very good defensively, too, with a strong arm. Ball hit the dirt. Foul tipped by Gutierrez. Hank tried to sell it. Yeah, he did. Gutierrez didn't move out of the batter's box. That was a pretty good indication. He knew that ball hit the dirt. Good pitch. And right off the dirt. That one is just low. Pretty good pitch. Good miss, though, for CJ. It creates doubt in Gutierrez's mind now what part of the plate he's going to throw to him next. Just got a piece of it on the breaking ball. So the count remains at two balls, two strikes. Foul tip. Hank hangs on to this one. It's the third strike of the game for C.J. Wilson. C.J. helped out by a terrific guy. catch it center by Mike Trout. As we head to the bottom of the third, still tied at one.
for the Angels, Griffin, Straley, and Bartolo Colon on Wednesday afternoon. Well, really good pitching matchups the entire three games here, especially on that Wednesday afternoon game. Bartolo Colon going against Jared Weaver. J.B. Shock to lead things off here. And a 1-1 tie to third, and he takes down low. J.B. struck out swinging in the first inning. 0 for 1. Two-o pitch downstairs. Three balls, no strikes. Felix Hernandez with five strikeouts, one walk, one hit allowed. That was a double to Howie Kendrick, and he walked him on four pitches. How about that? Second walk of the game. Let's now go to Los Angeles for another Fox Sports One game break. Thanks, Will. J.B. Shuck in the leadoff walk to start this bottom of the third. Here's Eric Ibar. Struck out looking in the first. Takes a strike here to start this at bat. Seeker playing in on the grass at third base, guarding the line a little bit too. Trayful cheating in a couple steps at short as Ibar takes outside. That's one and one. Almost a halfway infield, if you will. Certainly have an option of a hit and run. Felix has allowed 15 stolen bases in 20 attempts. Quick throw to first, JB back. Teams exchanging a run in the second inning. CJ with a one, two, three, third. Ibar takes down and in. Gets away from Zanino, but not far enough for Jamie to advance. Zanino, another nice job of blocking the pitch in the dirt. Very difficult one, two. A hard breaking ball like that with a left handed batter at the plate. To one pitch, JB takes off. Ibar swinging a miss. Double pump by Zunino. And JB has himself a stolen base. Must not have had the handle on the baseball. Yeah, he had a good opportunity to throw at JB on a hit and run because you're waiting to see if there's contact made. Hesitation. Freenfell, was he there at the base looking back for the hit and run? He's there. The hesitation from Zanino allows Shuck to get into scoring position now. Eight stolen base this season for Shuck and caught four times. Ibar chasing the breaking ball. Zanino throws to first to complete the strikeout. One out. Boy, six punch outs in this game already for Felix Hernandez. Yeah. Majority of them 
breaking pitches or change-ups. He has four games in which he has touched double digits and strikeouts. The Angels, of course, one of those that August 22nd game. His high this year, 12 against the Tigers. That was back in April. Chuck a check and one out. Here's Mike Trout. That's a hanging slider. Got away with that pitch. The look tells it all. When you're on the mound and you throw a backup slider like that, you're just happy that the hitter did not approach that baseball. One ball, one strike. And you would assume that Felix Hernandez will pitch Trout carefully here. There's still an open base, although Josh Hamilton, a left-handed batter on deck, has not had a lot of success against Felix. Just 10 for 60. Good hitters counted, two balls and a strike. JB leading off this inning with a walk. Stole second base. 2 1. Inside, three balls, one strike. And you would think fastball count for Trout. Don't think Felix is going to throw him a fastball, though. Gutierrez shading Trout the, really toward the foul line. Tree and fell toward the alley and right center field. Pardon me, Almonte toward the alley and right center field. He got a fastball, he misses, and it's a walk. <laughs> Two on, one out. Josh Hamilton coming to the plate. Three one count went with the fastball. Took a pretty good pitch. Fooled everybody. Hamilton swinging a miss on the first one. Josh DH today. Went down looking in that second inning at bat. This is foul. It's an 0-2 count. Hamilton during day games, 208 average. Take a look at the double plays since 2006. All three of them in this series. Felix, CJ, and Joe Saunders. That's why I thought that Felix wouldn't necessarily challenge Mike Trout with an open base. Still has that ability to get a ground ball double play, plus a lot of success against Josh Hamilton. Mike Trout with a lot of success against King Felix. So he pitched him carefully. The one two to Hamilton. Lifts this one foul and out of play, third base side. Handles have made him work. 56 pitches down. With one out here in the third inning. That's important, especially with the pitch count working today. First start back since September 2nd. For Felix Hernandez. Two balls, two strikes. I mentioned Josh. Day games at 208 average, night games 259. Still trying to figure it out here at the big A. Came in uh, with not such a great average. You can attribute that to perhaps facing good angel pitching. This year hitting 227 here. In the batter's eyes, very good for hitters yeah. here. 2-2, got him looking again. Two down. 
Same pitch that got him in the second. Gets him here in the third. It'll be up to Howie Kendrick to snap this time. He ran a two seam fastball at the hip initially and then catch in the inside corner. We went around the plate. Not so sure that that got that inside corner, but it freezes Hamilton. Now he went for one with a double to the alley left center. He also scored. Joe West says he went around. No one pitch. No bouncer foul. Oh, two. Sixty pitches for Felix Hernandez. Thirty-five strikes. Twenty-five out of the strike zone. Couple of walks this inning. Yep. Chuck at second. Trout at first. Both feel the walk. Just one hit allowed. This one's down line foul. Well, there was a time when you could pitch Howie Kendrick inside, but he's very good as far as getting his hands inside the baseball. You're better suited throwing something slow down and away against Howie. Hits the ball very well, the right center field on a fastball inside, especially around belt high. Another row two. Outside. One ball, two strikes. Time is called. Apparently they're having some bees on the field. So smoke back and out. So is Nick Franklin. The umpire, second base umpire, Andy Fletcher's cleared the way. King Felix doing the smart thing. He's getting away from that mound area. Wow. Not a fan of bees myself. Nor is many people. All right, who's got the open Snickers bar? <laughs> As long as they stay out there. Yeah, we hate to be that way, but I agree. There's a big thing of cotton candy walking by the foul line. I don't, I'm not so sure I'm walking around with cotton candy right now. Yeah. Well, the delay here being that there's a, a swarm of bees on the field, around the field, kind of flying around from the right field wall. CJ Wilson looking on, and Felix Hernandez is about to throw his 25th pitch once we get going once again. Hey, folks, from the crew that brings you America's number one pregame show comes Fox Football Daily with all the news and opinions and insight. You need on the NFL and college football. It's Fox Football Daily, weeknights at 6 p.m. Eastern, only on Fox Sports 1. Delay here working out. If yeah. Felix Hernandez, you're going to have to take some warm up pitches. Maybe an advantage for Howie Kendrick. You know, he's behind in the count one, two.
And what do you do on a delay like this? I guess if you're in Cleveland, they'd probably just call the game. <laughs> you haven't let go of that one yet, have you? <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm getting rid of that cotton candy as quick as possible. Take it upstairs just for the time being. Be cool to see a couple of beekeepers come in here and start chasing these things down out in the outfield. Let's go back and just uh, take a look at how we all kind of found things out. I see smoke kind of moving around. Nick Franklin, the second base, but peeled out of there very quickly. And Joe West is. He is a cowboy after all. He's going to walk out there. Yeah, he's going to make sure there's no more bees. <laughs> he's going to manhandle the bees himself. <laughs> yes. He's going to wrangle them. If anybody can do it, Joe West can do it. <laughs> Joe's also one of those guys that, all right, let's go. Let's go. They're just bees. We're outside. I have a flight to catch later on <laughs> let's today. Let's go. <laughs> it's just bees. It's nature. Joe heading over to talk things over with Mike Sosha. I, mean, I don't know what you could do unless they're all gathered in one spot. Remember down in San Diego a couple of years ago, there was a, a ball girl that apparently had a you know, candy bar in the jacket. Remember that all those bees swarmed the jackal. Then at least they're in one spot. You can kind of take care of it. I'll tell you what, it's no fun. I, one time a friend of mine stepped on a queen bee and, and then all the yellow jackets attacked. That was no fun. Stung quite a few times. You want to make sure everybody's safe in the stands and on the field here. Barney Lopez are a groundskeeper in the white shirt. He's on the phone, as is Joe West. Joe might just be calling Barney. Yeah. And Barney's calling Joe. <laughs> Phones are beautiful. <laughs> we are in a little bit of a delay here due to some bees. Tied at one here in the third. You see them there out uh, by the uh, right center field wall. Joe West, the crew chief on the horn. Marty Lopez, our uh, groundskeeper as well. And Seattle is uh, now all in the dugout hanging out. We will wait the arrival of perhaps. Out of these baseballs. Yeah. Yesterday, would they have a two hour rain delay up in Oakland yeah. this time of the year? Yeah. How's that possible? I have no idea. 
Didn't see that coming in the Farmer's Almanac. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> hey, folks, join the Angels in Tempe, Arizona, where we have no bees. Next spring with the 2014 Angels official spring training package. Package includes game tickets, hotel accommodations, merchandise, and an exclusive barbecue with Angels players and coaches. Call 1-800-8-WARM-UP to reserve your package today. We are still in the bee delay. Feels like it's a Three Stooges moment here with the bees. Yeah. It's not bothering the girls, though. We're tied in one here in the third inning. right field and uh, we're trying to figure out what they're going to do but apparently there's a YouTube video that says you can catch the bees with a Gatorade bucket and a broom and with no lid on it too. no it's lid perfect. yeah the hope is that we can contain them that's all you can hope to do yeah that can't be fun no no <laughs> did I tell you yet I really like bees a lot yeah yeah Make sure I let you know that. Now, I guess technically you could open up a Snickers bar and throw it in that thing, but you need the lid to keep them all in there, right? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's got a two iron. 
Yeah. Everyone watching uh, the, the guy in shorts with the broom. What's he going to do? Maybe he's going to start singing. Yeah. Unless he's trying to attract him right to the broom. Does he got the broom dipped in honey? I don't know, but it's, I'm sure that can't be comfortable for him. Yeah, they're, they're going yeah. towards the broom. And a lot of them. Now well, we're going to step away once again as what we believe to be Dale Scott trying to bring <laughs> all the bees together in this B delay here in the third inning. Check availability at 1-800-PICK-AT&T. Rethink possible. By CarMax, start the search for your next car at CarMax. CarMax, start here. And by Toyota's nationwide clearance event. Now you can save big on every Toyota car, truck, and SUV. Back out here at the Big A, tied at one in the third inning. The uh, B delay continues here at Angel Stadium and trying to figure out a, some sort of remedy. 
And whatever they've tried so far has not quite worked. So we will get you caught up as to what has gone on in the game with our game summary. And so far in this game, has advertised some quality pitching. That's good pitch to Zanino, but inside out approach down the right field line for a double scoring. Candice Morales, who doubled himself. They ground ball in the hole. Trifo made a nice play against Navarro, but the run score with the bases loaded tied at one at this point. And then the bees came, lots of them, and they continue to swarm around the big A. Bees continue to uh, be pesky here at uh, the Big A, and uh, once we get things figured out and get going, we'll see how this affects uh, Felix Hernandez as well as C.J. Wilson, the starters today. But uh, there's a live shot of the the bees that are uh, swarming all over this ballpark right now, especially out at right field. We're gonna step away once again. They got a couple of them trying to get the honey in the box. Because we are resuming play. Howie Kendrick at the plate. Check swing. Did he go? No, he did not. 
The count even up at two balls, two strikes. A 1 1 tie here in the third inning. JB Shuck standing at second. Mike Trout at first, both reaching via the walk. Certainly advantage here to Howie Kendrick against King Felix. The delay hurts the pitcher more than the hitter. Down in the dirt, a full count. And nothing you could do about it, too. It's just one of those freak things. And, uh, fortunately, it's been contained, or so we believe. Cole Calhoun on deck. Runners are going to take off with a pitch. They do. 3-2. Bouncer toward the middle. Three and full bottle for baseball. It trickles out into the outfield. But J.B. Shuck stopped running at third base. So they're loaded up for Cole Calhoun. Boy, Mike Trout was well around second base, forcing up Trienfeld, didn't retrieve the baseball quick enough. Not only did not field it, but also didn't get to that baseball quick enough because Trout rounded second base. They might have had a play there with Shuck staying in third. And affecting the fielder also to delay. It's a routine play for Trienfeld. He's made a nice play earlier in the game. He's going to get some help here. Cole swings through the first one. No one count. He drew a walk himself in the second. Three walks issued by Felix Hernandez. He has seven strikeouts. Still trying to get those bees out of the hedges out in the uh, batter's eye area. Boy, with no gloves or anything on wow. that's amazing. Old school. Yeah. Time is called. Twenty nine pitches thrown by Felix Hernandez. This inning. One one. This one's pulled down the line. That is just foul. Jim Joyce with the call. He's right on it. Tracked that baseball all the way down the line. Saw it foul. Joyce right in position. He's standing right on the line. He has a perfect view of that baseball. Called a foul. One ball, two strikes, so the base is loaded at two outs. And Cole rips one to right field. Gutierrez is there. The inning finally comes to an end. A long B delay. The Angels leave them loaded. Three of the books tied at one.
the whip. C.J. Wilson having the breaking ball work gets Kyle Seeger to swing and miss that hard slider. Saunders unable to make contact with that hard slider himself. And the third strike, a fastball for C.J. Swing and miss against Gutierrez. Three punch outs, three, three innings for C.J. Wilson. C.J. here in the fourth inning will face Seeger Morales and smoking a 1-1 time. More than likely we'll get a couple extra pitches here. Granted by Joe West with the uh, with about a 23-24 minute delay dealing with the bees in the bottom of the third. The Angels loading the bases up and leaving them loaded. C.J. with three strikeouts. No walks, three hits allowed. Cal Seeger was a strikeout victim in the first. He's 0 for 1. CJ finally gets a sign, delivers the first one, it's outside. One ball, no strikes. Oh, they called it a strike. The outside corner. Cole Calhoun now walking in a little bit, dealing with the B's and right. They are right there, he says. <laughs> Not right here, but right there. Yeah, don't well don't don't play there. Move over a little bit. So Mike Trout's having to deal with it as well at center field. Yeah, I think Mike Trout says, you know what? I'm not gonna deal with him. Jim Joyce is walking out as well to take a look. And Trout now uh, basically just behind second base now as well. Batter's eye and back out to the outfield looks like. And Howie walking all the way out from second base position to check out the bees. Yeah. Howie probably wishing he had his camera. Yeah, exactly. Take some nice black and white pictures of him. Big time photographer on the road. He's everywhere with that camera. Like they brought out the series firepower now. Hey, nightly on Fox Sports Live, uh, join Jay Onright and Dan O'Toole along with Donovan McNam, Andy Roddick, Chris and Thompson as they bring you all the scores, news highlights you need. Catch Fox Sports Live nightly on Fox Sports One. This will more than likely be on. Yeah, it's got a good chance. Yeah, Fox Sports Live. So I guess we are getting ready to resume. CJ getting his warm-up pitches in. And 
And apparently we're being told that uh, these don't like fire extinguishers. I wouldn't think so. No. Preseason hockey, though. Prime ticket coming up. Ducks and Kings. Got that going. Yes, you do. No bees in there. No. Kyle Seeger with an 0-1 count. So I'm going to miss. So with two. Swing and a miss. Down goes Seeger. There is out number one to start this fourth inning. Fourth strikeout for CJ. Second time he struck out Seeger with a breaking pitch. Good job as far as keeping that front shoulder in and snapping off a good breaking ball to get Seeger to swing and miss. One out, nobody on, and here's Kendris Morales who doubled off the wall in right center field in the second inning to lead off that inning. And then scored on the Zunino double. Just got my tongue back from a tune-up, sorry. This one bounced up the third base line. Romine off balance throw, two outs. Zunino had the RBI double that made it 1-0 Seattle, but the Halos answered with a run of their own in the bottom of the second. Slow ground ball to Romine. Second out, CJ. Seems to be in pretty good rhythm, even though he's had a long delay between his last inning and this one. That kind of stuff ever bother you? Delays, rain delays? I, I didn't mind a, a delay to, before the game started. Wasn't a huge fan of a delay during the course of the game, though. Because you have your edge working as far as the pitcher, because you get to go out once every five days. So you know, you're ready to go. When you have a delay like that, you really have to try to keep yourself focused. That's the most important thing. You're going to be able to change your shirt, be able to stay loose, but the focus is the big thing. Two count on Justin Smoke. Swing at the first pitch he saw in the second inning and skied one out to J.B. Shuck. Two one. Oh, he got it on hands. High bar drifting out. And Wilson with a one, two, three, fourth. And eight in a row since giving up the double to Zunino. Line right at the bottom of the fourth, still time at one.
Telecast is presented by authority of the Los Angeles Angels. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. The accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of Angels Baseball LP. Bottom third of the order, Conger, Navarro, and Romine face Felix Hernandez. Seven strikeouts, three walks for Felix. One hit allowed. That was a double to Howie Kendrick in the second. That's the 70th pitch thrown by Felix Hernandez. Try to settle in around that 100 pitch mark. Conger pulls with foul. Work some counts against him here. Get him out of here by the in the fifth inning. Get to that Seattle bullpen, which has certainly been an issue for him. Hank was hit by a pitch in the second inning, so no official at bat for him today. Goes down swinging for the first down here in the fourth. We continue to throw that. Good slow curveball and a slider and a yeah. changeup. A lot of ball speed from Felix Hernandez in this game. It's been effective for him. Eight strikeouts already in the game. We're only with one out in the fourth. Now for Navarro, bounced down into a fielder's choice, picked up an RBI. First major league run batted in, tied this game up. Mark Trumbo not playing today. Effort getting to start over at first. One ball, one strike. Mark Trumbo, three career home runs against King Felix. Effort this year at Triple A Salt Lake at 326, led the league with 39 doubles. 81 runs batted in. Two balls, two strikes. Boy, back to back curveballs. Mentioned it a number of times already in this game for Hernandez. Very good curveball slider change of combination, but throwing a lot more than normal against the Angels here. Fastball fouled back. Makes that 93 mile an hour fastball seem that much faster. Because he's been able to throw his curveball at 80 miles an hour. Late swing from Navarro on that one. Felix thought he had it. Full count. Andrew Romine on deck. Ninth place hitter. And then back to the top of the order if we get to that point. Payoff pitch. Wow, just got a piece of it. Three, two again, and he lost him. Walked him on a fastball away. Fourth walk issued now by Felix. Boy, I see the pitch count so high for him. Four walks, eight strikeouts. <laughs> Andrew for one. Struck out looking in a second. Felix misses high. 
Well, we've seen this kind of go away from him too, as locked in as he has been for the a good portion of this three innings, plus a couple of batters that he's faced so far. He's gotten away at times and just become uh, erratic, but once he gets locked back in, he's nasty. Yeah, you got to take advantage of it when he makes mistakes. And Andrew may have helped him out there. That was one ball, ball strike, yeah. 82 pitches thrown here, and we're only with one out in the fourth. Two wins in his previous 16 starts here at the Big A. Has it been easy for him here? The ERA not too bad at 3 5 4. Navarro taking off the throw from Zunino is not a dive. Sailed to the second base side of the bag, and Efren Navarro picks up a stolen base. The 24 stolen base that Zunino has allowed. He's only thrown out six would be base dealers. Try to quickly tag Navarro as he slid in. Now in scoring position. Andrew Romine has been very productive in these spots. 1 2 pitch. Breaking ball just got a piece of it. Still at a ball and two strikes for JB Shuck on deck. In the dirt, and that will advance Navarro to third. This is 13th wild pitch of the season. Got to get a gift run here now. Overthrown like a slider in the dirt. Bisonino, not an easy thing to do. Not much you could do either, too, as a catcher. You're just hoping that ball hits you. Especially when that spin on a breaking ball hits the dirt, never goes the exact way you want it to go as a catcher. Takes inside, full count. With some good patience, you see that bullpen moving around. You would assume soon for Seattle. Tough time even getting through five innings. First start for Felix Hernandez since September the second, dealing with an oblique strain. Five full counts in this game for Felix Hernandez. Romine strikes out. Two down. Nine punch outs now through three and two thirds for Felix Hernandez. Two seam action. Swing and miss. Romine pulls off that. That may have been a product of that two seam fastball he went down looking on in the second, anticipating perhaps another one. Especially with the rotation of the seams, reading two seam fastball, but this time going away. 31 pitches he threw in the third inning. Every inning's been a battle here for Felix. JB takes inside. He's 0 for 1. A strikeout in the first inning. Walked and stole a base in the third. Angels left him loaded in the third inning when Cole Calhoun lined down to Franklin Gutierrez in right field. One run, three hits, one error, one left on for Seattle, one run, one hit, five left on for the Angels. 1-1 one, one pitch. Breaking ball, did not go. And a lot of check swings against Felix Hernandez today, that slow breaking ball. Able to track it long enough to be able to not fully commit to a swing. Slow breaking ball. He evens up the count of two and two. Oliver Perez, veteran lefty, getting ready for Seattle now. Two-two pitch. 
JB takes a called strike three, and the inning comes to an end. We've played four here at the Big A. Felix Hernandez struck out ten. We're tied at one. Lay in the third inning and uh, a lot of bees. Here's our Coors Light freeze cam. Look at all the bees around the big A. No fun for Seattle at the field, walk off the field. Fans looking around, not enjoying themselves either. And they finally figured out a way to get the bees together and off the field and the playing surface. Cole Calhoun said, okay, let's try something new like trout. Basically, it comes down, there's a lot of bees on the field. <laughs> That's our free skip brought to you by Frost Brew Coors Light. Mike Zunino, Sky, went out to left center field. Mike Trout is there, puts it away for the first oh. down. There's a lot of bees, that's for sure. And oh. that guy that we saw in the outfield trying to uh, corral the bees, if you will, just a fan that was in a suite that deals with bees, and he volunteered his... Uh, his time to, to try to That's clear pretty good. Floor. It's almost yeah. like the airplane movies or a doctor in the plane here. <laughs> <What's up>, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> so we just have to have a person who knows bees. Something like yes. that. <laughs> Nick Franklin takes outside. Second baseman today. He's so for one and grounded a short. <laughs> yep. That's what I was thinking. Airplane. Is there a doctor in the plane here? I'm a doctor. <laughs> CJ Wilson with four strikeouts, no walks, three hits allowed. <laughs> Good off-speed pitch. Evens up the count at 2-2. Two two. Two, two on the way. Boy, Franklin late on that one. Cal remains at two balls, two strikes. They have a good slow break of ball, fastball in. Michael Saunders on deck. 58 pitches thrown by CJ. Looks like uh, Oliver Perez more than likely going to come in at the bottom of the inning. Franklin just got a piece. Keeps his at bat alive. Still at two balls, two strikes.
four innings for Felix Hernandez. A lot of pitches. Ten strikeouts, though. That will uh, rack up some pitches for you. Mix in four walks also. Just one hit allowed. Trying to get to that 200 inning plateau again for Felix Hernandez. It looks like he'll come up a little bit short. A nice play by a fan there. Well, fan appreciation day. Yeah, brought the glove. Bet sitting there, he didn't think he was going to get one from a right handed batter. Pretty hard to get a ground ball from a right handed batter there in that seat. Time is called. Run through the signs again. 3 2. Swing and a miss. Down goes Franklin. Two down. Well, CJ is locked in today. Has been for quite some time as far as his. Ability to throw strikes, nasty breaking ball, get a swing and miss, five strikeouts himself today. Saunders takes outside. Foul tip. One ball, one strike. Saunders struck out of the second. Oh, for one. TJ's retired 10 in a row since the double buys at Nino back in the second inning. Now there's an opportunity to get a swing and miss here with a slider after evening up the count of two. Three hits allowed by Wilson. Single to Almonte in the first inning, then the two doubles in the second. Two two. Outside. Full count now. Payoff pitch. Saunders takes inside. So a two out walk. First one issued by Wilson today. Puts a man on for Carlos Trienfeld. 68 pitches thrown by CJ. Halo's in the fifth inning against Oliver Perez, we presume. Will be Ivar Trout and Hamilton do up 2 3 and 4 for the Halos. Tranfield hit a fly ball to center field leading off the third. So he's 0 for 1. Saunders will run 13 stolen bases for him. Been caught five times. CJ has one pickoff this year, has allowed 13 stolen bases in 14 attempts. Greenfield pulls this one down the line foul just out in front of it. Another raw speed pitch. It's been a good pitch for CJ to get ahead of the count with early. Now with Tranfield at the play, it's not like you need to throw him to strike. He's looking to hack. Yeah, definitely expand the strike zone. 
Now focus strictly on Trienfell if you're CJ. You don't want to be preoccupied with Saunders necessarily over at first base and make a mistake here. This one popped up. Out into shallow right. Cole Calhoun. Howie Kendrick. Nobody can get it. It falls in for a flare single. Saunders ends up over at third base. And Seattle with runners at the corners now for Abraham Almonte. Well, Calhoun playing a deep right field. We've mentioned that before. And to go a long way. And Howie playing up the middle. Very difficult for Howie to even get close to this baseball. It comes down to a well-placed little flare by Trienfell. Falls in for a base hit. Now some stress here for C.J. First and third with two outs. Set up by that two-out walk. Now Monte's one for two. He singled the right field in the first inning. Popped out to Kendrick in the third. Oh, it won. Base hit by Tradeville, the fourth hit now for Seattle. Seattle actually out hit the Angels last night, nine to six, but they left 11 men on base. Tito got the first two outs rather easily. Zanino on the fly ball to center. Franklin on a strikeout. Got Saunders on a 3-2 count before walking him. And now the single by Triadfell. Well, CJ's got to get refocused once again. Two quick outs. You mentioned that, Victor. Then the walk and the little flare hit. Now behind the count here. Monty. He's got a base hit in the game. Two one. Breaking ball. Paints the outside corner. Two and two. Looking for that sixth punch out of the game here to finish off the fifth. Again, a throw over to first. 2 2 count with two outs. Least of your worries. Two two. Did he go around with the breaking ball? No, this is Jim Joyce. So another full count, and that means Trey will be on for the pitch now. We've already going to communicate with CJ Wilson to tell him he's going to play behind Trey and Fell. Well, this is the guy, if you're CJ, you want to get right here with the airs on deck, who's had some pretty good at bats in his career against CJ. Pitch and Almonte strikes out swinging. We'll head to the bottom of the fifth inning. Still tied at one.
Silverado that comes with an available 5.3 liter engine and offers the best V8 fuel economy of any two wheel drive pickup. Visit your local Chevy Silverado dealer today for all the latest offers and details. New pitcher on in relief for the Seattle Mariners. Felix Hernandez is done, and it's the left hander Oliver Perez taking over. And our in and out, who's in, who's out? Perez fastball 90 to 95, slider curveball. Very deceiving delivery. Different arm angles, different times that it played also to throw off the timing of a hitter. Felix Hernandez today, first start since September the 2nd, four innings, one hit, 10 strikeouts, four walks, one run. Some deep counts to go along with the 10 strikeouts. Started off the Angels striking out the first four before giving up the uh, one and only hit, the double to Howie Kendrick, and Howie eventually scored. The fielder's choice by Navarro. Eric Ibar 0 for 2 with two punch outs. Swings the first one, pulls one down the left field line, but it hooks foul. They're ready to jump on that first pitch fastball from Perez. Eric hitting 283 from this side of the plate compared to the 262 from the left. Something that he's turned around a little bit. One ball, one strike. Flair into the seats on the first base side. One ball, two strikes. Perez pitched in Friday night's game, just one third of an inning. Situational outing. Hooks this one foul. Well, Perez all, trying to come inside. Yeah, with all that movement Perez has before he delivers the baseball, you just have to try to pick up the baseball out of his hand with the batter's eye in the background. Because you get caught up in looking at the arms, legs, glove moving. Very difficult to track the baseball. Highbar lifts this one down the left field line. Moving over to Saunders, and that is foul again. Again, as a hitter, just don't be distracted by all this movement. And try to do a little quick slide step, to throw off timing. The Vibar, that's what he does so well. Besides the fact he has good stuff to go along with it. Go to mid 90s on his fastball. It'll slide step, quick pitch you. We'll turn his back to you, similar to Felix Hernandez. All kinds of way to try to deceive you as a hitter. Out the back. Biggest issue for Perez as a starter. Command. Yeah, he throws a lot of pitches. Will walk batters. And this is more conventional here. The leg up and then throw through. Be more consistent with the strike zone that way. Off speed, called strike three. That was a pretty nasty pitch. Especially turned back to Eric Ibar, hit the ball well. It was a curveball. All you see is the letters and a breaking ball. Eleven strikeouts for Seattle in this game against the Angels. Yeah. The one out here in the fifth, and here's Mike Trout. Trout's over one with a punch out and a walk. One and out.
Mentioned Felix Hernandez with 10 strikeouts and four innings of work. First pitcher in Major League history with 10 strikeouts in a four inning start. That's surprising. Yeah. Three balls and a strike. Perez trying to stay away from him. Got the left hand hitting Josh Hamilton on deck. We'll see if he can get a fastball here to drive. Fouls it back. I don't like you'll see now for that fastball down a curveball from him. Three two on the way. And Trout strikes out swinging. Two outs. Trout looking back at Joe West, wondering if that was indeed a strike. Looked like it was off the plate at 92. A pretty tough pitch. It's very difficult to track the baseball out of the hand of Perez with all that movement. So far, it's been very effective for him. Two punch outs, two batters faced. One ball, no strikes on Josh Hamilton, who's 0 for 2 today with a couple of strikeouts, both looking. One ball, one strike. Had about a 24 minute delay in the third inning. To a swarm of bees. Took over the uh, right center field area. One and two now. I think we see from Joe West today calling a lot of strikes. No complaints either from too many guys. Total of 18 strikeouts so far in this game. We're only here in the fifth. One two pitch breaking ball went around and Oliver Perez has just struck out the side the second time today the Angels have gone down via the strikeout five complete still tied at one.
the majors. A big day in the Bronx. Andy Pettit making his last regular season start at home. And Mo Rivera on Mo Rivera Day in Yankee Stadium. A special day for him. Getting honored in the Bronx with his family. What a special day. The Yankees did a nice thing for Mo Rivera. No question last time that will ever be worn now that Mo Rivera, the last player using and wearing number 42. This is Robinson Dare also on hand for that. And a wild card, still wild day in baseball. Kansas City Royals walk off grand slam against Texas. Both Cleveland and Tampa win, so they stay in top of the wild card in the American League. Pittsburgh, a loser today to Cincinnati, so that's still wide open. But Washington, big loss for them. They have a doubleheader, day-night doubleheader against Miami. Lost the first game, so the wild card race getting a little bit clearer in the National League than certainly in the American League. Franklin Gutierrez leads off the sixth inning with a base at the left. Metallica played Enter Sandman on the warning track today in Yankee Stadium. That's what they should have done at City Field for the All-Star break. That's pretty cool. Kyle Seeger's 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts. CJ's been real good at getting double plays. Use one here. This one pulled an effort. Navarro picks it, fires this short. Eyeball return throw to first out of time. Nice job by Effort to get the lead runner. Nice job by Wilson to be there to almost turn a double play. That's why you always go to that side of the field anytime the ball's hit to the right side if you're a pitcher. There's a reason why each year Navarro's been named the best defensive first baseman in the organization for the Angels. Good feed, good throw, and almost a 3-6-1 double play. Good range. Here stops. And Seager, who runs well, just barely beats it out. You know, it looked like he's like for that little hesitation. He wasn't sure if he was going to tag. He thought about it. Yeah, that little hesitation may have cost the double play, but still get the lead runner. He still had the double play still set up in order with Kendrys Morales. If he hits a ground ball in an infield, a real good chance to turn in two. Ball's in the dirt. One ball, no strikes. Kendrys one for two with a double and a run scored. He's also grounded out. I mean, Seattle being extremely aggressive early in counts here. CJ do just with 80 pitches thrown here into the sixth inning. And that's with a somewhat prolonged fifth inning. Two out walk and that flair single before getting out Monte to strike out. Bouts are foul. Evens up the count at one and one. Five hits for Seattle, one for the Angels. Way outside. Overthrown fastball there from CJ. Fortunate enough, Conger was able to catch that. Otherwise, Seeger is able to go into second base on the wild pitch. That was a pretty good pitch. Three and one. Anytime CJ feels he makes a pitch and doesn't get the call, you'll see him walk around the mound to gather himself to make sure he stays under control. Full count. That one's got to throw the exact same pitch, just don't overthrow it. Exactly. 3 1 slider. Only if you're going to go a 3 1 slider, you come right back with the exact same pitch.
Seeger takes off. Morales shoots one out to right and hit well. Cole Calhoun is back in the warning track, and he'll make the catch. Seeger races back to first. Two outs. Went with a fastball, high fastball. Kendrys doesn't miss a fastball too often. Just missed that one. So Seeger at first, two outs now. Justin Smoke at the plate. Smoke is 0 for 2, a fly ball to left field, and a pop up to Eric Ibar. Seeger takes off, pitches a strike, throw from Congers on the shortstop side, so it's a stolen base. There's nine stolen base of the season, the 14th stolen base and 15 attempts that C.J. Wilson has allowed, which is a high total for a left-handed pitcher. C.J. utilizes slide step well. Does have one pickoff this year, but make sure... For CJ, vary your look back to second to make sure you keep Seeger close enough to the base where you have a play at the plate if Smoke can get a base hit in the outfield. That's a block. So Seeger will take third. How about that? Back to back nights with a block. Rasmus had one last night. Second block of the season for CJ Wilson. Tried to follow through on the throw, and it took a while for them to call it. I was surprised, as if it was almost a timeout had been called. Why stop? Not as if he stumbled. And if your catcher is not in the position that you think he was supposed to be in, just fired in there. The man at third, no one count. Smoke grounds this one down the line. That is a foul ball. Seager will head back to third base. 0 oh, 2 count now on Smoke. <laughs> 87 pitches thrown by CJ. 57 have been strikes. Six punch outs, one walk. One and two. I did. Get smoked to swing at a high fastball. Now you wonder if after that one, he doesn't throw the hard slider down and in. Get a swing and miss and finish off the inning. Now the one two. Smoke hits one out toward left field. Hit well. JB Shock is at the wall, and Seattle it takes the lead. Three to one. Uh, Justin Smoke's first home run of the year from the right side of the plate. Well, the third home run he's hit against C.J. Wilson in his career. It's the 200 hitter was 0 for 2 before that slider that stayed out over the plate. He bounced. You're going to get a swing and miss. He's got too much of the plate. And Smoke, with a lot of power, drives it out to left field. Home run number 18, now 45 RBI. 0-1 oh, count here on Mike Zanino, who doubled home a run in the second, hit a fly ball to center in the fifth. The 3-1 Seattle lead here in the sixth inning. Carter Capps getting ready for Seattle. Oliver Perez struck out the side of the fifth. The Angels have been during this stretch, been very good as far as coming back in games.
One ball, two strikes. This is the 15th home run that CJ has allowed in over 200 innings pitched this season. So Nino pulls one a third. The inning is over, but two out, two strike, two run home run puts the Mariners on top, three to one. Winning it rather easily, 48% of the vote. Let's go back and take a look at that made off the bat of Jose Bautista against the Blue Jays. Boy, he had to go a long way. The boot to go up and jump and then fall into the stands. What a play by J.B. Shock. He's done everything this season for the Halos, this rookie season. Halos will play from behind here in the bottom of the sixth inning. 3-1 Seattle. Carter Caps, the right-hander, takes over on the mound for Oliver Perez, who, as we mentioned, going to break and struck out the side in the fifth inning. Another power arm out of the bullpen for Seattle. We've seen Caps already in the series. 93 to 97 with his fastball, slider, curveball, changeup. A little high ERA. Has a tendency to hang that slider out over the plate. Kendrick, Calhoun, and Conger to face Carter Caps. Howie looks at a strike. Howie, the proud owner of the only hit the Angels have picked up this afternoon, a double with one out in the second. That was against Felix Hernandez. Caps pitched two innings, Friday's loss for Seattle. Two walks, one strikeout. One ball, one strike. Caps has allowed 12 home runs and 56 in the third innings pitch. A high, high total for a reliever. One ball, two strikes now. Cole Calhoun on deck. And a swing and a miss. That is six consecutive strikeouts for Seattle pitching. Romine, Shuck, Ibar, Trout, Hamilton, and now Kendrick. Fourteen strikeouts on the day for the Angels.
Cole Calhoun has drawn a walk and hit a fly ball to right. So he's 0 for 1. Caps rushing it up there once again. Well, it's hard to believe how he can give 12 home runs up in just in less than 50, 57 innings pitch with that type of fastball. Count even up at one and one after Rob Drake says Calhoun did not go around. Outside. Caps doesn't waste a whole lot of time. Cole swings through that one, two and two. Conger on deck. Two two now. And Calhoun foul tips that one, hung on to by Zanino, two down. Hard slider from Caps. Oh, straight down, sharp break. Seven consecutive strikeouts now for Seattle pitching. 15 of the 17 via the punch out. We haven't seen uh, one of these types of games for the Angels in a long time. No, it's as if they're having a difficult time tracking the baseball. Want to know? Oh, Seattle with six hits, the Angels with one. Felix Hernandez had a lot of good curveballs and changeups during his four innings. And Perez very difficult to track the baseball out of his hand, and then Caps coming in and rushing in their 97-98. Two balls, no strikes. But this is the time now as a hitter. 2-0 count. Caps losing focus after two quick strikeouts. Now Conger can center in on the fastball and see if he can do some damage. 2-0. Three balls and no strikes. Efren Navarro is on deck. That's a four-pitch walk. So that uh, string at least is snapped. Put a man on for Navarro. Free shot of Fielder's Choice. Walked himself. 0 for 1. Short lead for Conger at first. Navarro looks at a strike. RBI that uh, Everett picked up in the second inning, his first big league RBI. At that point, it tied the score at one apiece. But Justin Smoke, two out, two run home run in the top of the sixth inning. Put Seattle back on top, 3 1. A one pitch. Foul back, 0 at 2. Bouncer to second. Franklin comes in. And we will head to the seventh with the Angels trailing at three to one.
$9.99 plus tax. Go big at a participating Jack in the Box today. And by Chase. Send money to almost anyone, anywhere, with your smartphone. Chase. Quick pay. So you can. Down to the seventh here at the Big A. 3-1 as Seattle leads it. Mariners setting up the bottom third of their order here against C.J. Wilson, Franklin, Saunders, and Trienfeld. C.J. has six strikeouts, one walk, six, six hits allowed, one of which was the home run to Smoke. Franklin takes outside. Franklin 0 for 2 tonight. A ground ball out and a strikeout. And evens up the count at 1 to 1. Almost like two back to back BP fastballs from CJ Wilson. Pulled toward third, and Romine can't come up with it. And a leadoff single for Nick Franklin. CJ has to be aware now of the potential fun. As Franklin gets this by Romine at third. It hasn't been easy to do to get anything by Andrew Romine playing that third base position. There's Michael Saunders, left fielder. Struck out and walked. Franklin has six stolen bases, has been caught once this year. Saunders shows butt. CJ delivers down and in. Ninety seventh pitch of the afternoon for Wilson. This is butted toward third. Romine picks it up, fires the eye bar for one, really the first, not a dive. A really nice play by Andrew. You can tell by the hands of Andrew Romine, a middle infielder by trade. As soon as he feels that ball in position to get his body turned and throw right away the second base. Rick Ibar saying, hey, good play. Fields a position right there, good throw. And almost able to turn a double play. Although Those, Saunders gets down there too quick. Yeah, traditional 5-6 put out at second. Well, you got to believe right now that Saunders will probably try to steal the base. Try to get in scoring position himself. He's had 13 stolen bases this season. Has been caught five times, though. See if CJ will try to pick him off at first before he delivers a pitch to the plate. It's like left-hander Charlie Furbush beginning to warm up for Seattle. Carlos Trienfeld, one for two. Flared a single out into shallow right field last time up. Bouncer towards short. Ibar should take care of this one. That's a 6-3 double play. Seventh inning stretch time here at the Big A. The Angels trailing the Seattle Mariners 3-1.
MLB.com at Bata celebrating its five years. Five years? Five years. Number one mobile app for live baseball. It's available across all platforms. All you need to do is text at bat at 31826 or log on at angels.com for more details. Nine, one, and two. Carter Cap still in the ballgame. Romine swings through that one. Andrews 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. A walk. Foul back. 0 at 2. Andrews 0 for 2 with those two strikeouts. And uh, you can say that pretty much about everybody except Efren Navarro. The only Angel starter without a strikeout. Sometimes Cass will throw a hard slider now. Hopefully he'll make a mistake here and Romine can get a base hit with it. One, two from Caps. That's a breaking ball outside. See if that missed call, at least in Carter Caps' mind on that 0 2 pitch. See if it comes back and haunts him. That next one out of the zone. Don't mind trying to find a way to get on base here now. Two, two. Romine bounces one back up the middle, lead off single. For the Angels, just a second hit this afternoon for the Halos. Good approach for Romine once again. We've seen that in this entire series. Ground ball, base hit up the middle. Rick Wedge going to go to the bullpen now. That's going to be it for Carter Caps, and with J.B. Shuck coming up to the plate, the lefty is now in play. His name, Charlie Furbush. We've got ourselves a pitching change here. The seventh, the Angels down three to one. Off single for Andrew Romine chases Carter Caps, the right hander, with J.B. Shuck coming up. Left hander Charlie Furbush comes into the ball game, and he has done a nice job once again for Eric Wedge. This will be his 68th game, a two and six record, 3.48 earned run average. Impressive, 79 strikeouts, 62 innings pitch. Furbush, fastball 90 to 94, and quite a few sliders. Over 40 percent of his pitches. Or sliders, occasional curveball change up.
JB today 0 for 2. Two strikeouts, one walk, one stolen base. Seeger playing in over at third base. Good lead for Romine at first. First one is in for a strike. Chuck hitting 316 versus left handed pitching. Does a good job of staying inside the baseball, hit the ball to left field to left center. This one's looped out towards shallow left. Trian fell a shortstop moving over into foul territory, makes the grab for the first down. Pretty good play by Trianfell. That was not an easy play to track over there. High sky. Maybe able to track the baseball using the glove, give him some shade, and then tracks it down and gets the first out. Do a good job of not losing sight of that baseball. There's Eric Ibar, 0 for 3 with three punch outs. Shoots this one out toward left field. Saunders is there. He'll track it down for out number two. Romine heads back to first. Well, Saunders, a center fielder by trade. There's a lot of coverage in the outfield. He's able to track that well hit baseball by Eric Ibar down. Two outs for Mike Trout now. Oh, for two. Two punch outs in a walk. Fifteen strikeouts for Mariners pitchers this afternoon. First one in for a strike. Matthews has hit 154 against Furbush, but right handed batters 220, including four home runs. Down in the dirt. Well, my thought about is Anito. Get a handle of the baseball bite by then. Romai was already flat footed. And you got to stay there unless you know you're going to advance. You want Mike Trout to have an opportunity to swing the bat. You have to make sure that ball is away from Zanino. One one pitch down low two balls one strike. The trout looks like he's tracking either a fastball or a slider inside. If he gets an opportunity to drive a ball, he's going to be able to hook it down the left field line. Two on. Off the plate. Three balls, one strike, and you can afford. To be careful with Trout, with Josh Hamilton on deck, he has struggled against left-handed pitching. Matty Walker. He wasn't fully committed to going after Mike Trout. Trying to make Mike swing at something out of the strike zone, and he didn't go for it. Second walk of the game. Hamilton two for 13 with six strikeouts against Furbush. Because Carl Wilson going to go out and talk to Furbush about the approach against Hamilton, plus now the bullpen to be ready. Right hand a pitcher up. His numbers for Hamilton against Furbush with six strikeouts, 13 to bats. Dina up, right hander, power arm, another power arm out of the bullpen for Seattle. 
Yo Ervis has done a nice job for uh, Eric Wedge. Carl Willis out to uh, kill some time to give Medina a little time to get ready. Two outs runners at first and second. Halo's down by two. And Hamilton up. 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. Here's the first one. One ball, no strikes. Josh hitting 187 against left handed pitching this year. Has six home runs and 24 runs batted in. 1 0. Up and in. Two good, balls, no strikes. Good patience right here for Hamilton. Now more than likely we'll get a fastball. He could center in on the zone right now to drive it. Doesn't have to be overly concerned with the slider now. Two zero pitch. Takes inside. Three balls, no strikes. And Howie Kendrick on deck. Now the 3-0 pitch. And he walked him. That's eight straight out of the strike zone. And they are loaded out for Kendrick. And you wonder if Wedge goes back out to the bullpen to bring in Medina. Well, you would think he would, especially with the pitcher from eight straight out of the strike zone. Go with the percentage ready versus ready, and he is going to do so. So it's the second time in the ballgame. The Angels have had the bases loaded. The last time was back in the third against Felix Hernandez. And Cole Calhoun squared one up, but right to Gutierrez in right field to end the inning. So we have ourselves a pitching change. Second here in the seventh. Halo still down by two, but have them loaded. To two outs and then walked Trout and walked Hamilton. He's sitting on the bench as Joervis Medina comes into the ball game for Seattle. We'll take a look at our Hyundai key to the game. Right, going summertime sadness. Talked about the first day of fall. How Mike Sosha's club from August 23rd, 21 and 7. Let's go back, tap into that summertime comeback ability here with the bases loaded. Howie Kendrick up at the plate, an opportunity to at the very least tie the game up with a base hit.
Medina's got a good fastball himself. He's 92 to 97. Slider changeup. 61st game, 4 and 6 mark, a 292 ERA. Facing Howie Kendrick, who's one for three. Double with a run scored in the second. First pitch swing, lost one out to right. Playable for Gutierrez. And just like that third inning, the fly ball to right ends the threat. Seven complete. Halo's down three to one. Angels baseball is brought to you by AT&T, Rethink Possible, and by El Pollo Loco, Crazy You Can Taste. Top of the eighth inning, here's the big A, still 3-1 Seattle, and C.J. Wilson back out on the mound. And here in the eighth inning, he'll face the top of the order, Amante, Gutierrez, and Seager. 99 pitches, seven innings, seven hits, three runs, all earned. Six strikeouts and a walk. The difference in this game, that two-run home run by Justin Smoke with two outs on a two-strike pitch. Sixth inning. Pretty solid as far as pitch count for CJ. Just 99. It's a quick, clean inning. My associate may allow him to go back out to the ninth inning. First one outside. Now Monte, the center fielder, is one for three, singled back in the first inning. Well, those shadows are getting real close to home plate now. Certainly an advantage for a pitcher. Tough four, fifth inning as far as pitch count for CJ, 24 thrown. Monte offered it that. Geez, the high changeup would have been a 2 0 count. Again, trying to bunt. We've seen that quite a bit from him. It's not a bad idea. You bring your quarter infielders in. A better opportunity to punch a ground ball by them because you have to be aware of the bunt. And again, this one bunted a third base line, but foul. Two and two. We've seen it uh, pretty much every time he's come to the plate trying to drag bunt even from the left side. Runs well. A swing and a miss, and down it goes. One down. Second time he has struck out in the game. Seventh overall for C.J. Wilson. Along with one walk.
Franklin Gutierrez, the right fielder, one for three. He singled in the sixth inning. Takes up and away. Seven strikeouts for CJ now with one walk. Seven hits for Seattle, two for the Angels and the Halos. Kind of uh, reverse roles with Seattle. They've stranded 10 today. Mariners had opportunities plenty last night. Stranding quite a few base runners. Angels twice today with the bases loaded, failing to score. The third and the seventh. Grounder toward the hole, backhanded by Ibar, gets rid of it quickly, two down. <laughs> so with the two outs, nobody on base, here's Kyle Seeger. Seeker's 0 for 3, two strikeouts and a fielder's choice. He's also stolen a base and scored a run. one 0 -oh. back. Halos in the bottom of the eighth inning have Calhoun, Conger, and Navarro do up. Medina will be coming back in because he threw one pitch and retired Howie Kendrick. Dropped down a little bit, got the outside corner, one and two. Good velocity on that one, two and 92. First two at bats for Seeger. Having a swing and miss on sliders. Now he has him set up for a breaking ball again. That is a called strike three. Down goes Seeger. A one, two, three inning for CJ. We'll head to the bottom of the eighth. Still three, one, Seattle. Three runs. 
but still trailing it here. See if the Angels can do something here in the bottom of the eighth inning as they'll have Calhoun, Conger, and Navarro coming up to face Medina. Yeah, it looked like he had a conversation with Mike Sosha after the inning. It looks like CJ still might be in the game. Feeling pretty good. Good to see him get his first complete game as an Angel. Two years here. Throwing the ball exceptionally well for a long period of time this season. An opportunity stays in there. Pick up his 18th victory. Calhoun this afternoon is 0 for 2. Walk a fly to right, more of a line drive to right, and a strikeout. Fouls the first one back. It's going to be more and more difficult to see the baseball as a hitter right now as that shadow right over home plate. Pitcher in the sunshine, batter in the shade. One ball, one strike. And Cole drives one out toward right center field. Hit well out. Monty pulls up. Gone. A big fly for Cole Calhoun. Eighth of the season. It's a one-run game. Corky Calhoun said, I don't worry about the shadows. Got a fastball, firm fastball for Medina. And hits it out to center field. Well up. Batter's eye in center field for Calhoun. Cole just jumps all over this pitch, middle of the plate. That's what you hope to see as a batter when you're dealing with the shade. Not seeing as well. You want to get a fastball, and that's what he got, a zone, and he drove it out to center field. Fifth home run allowed by Medina in 61 games now. And here's Hank Kiger, who easily can go out as well. Takes a strike on the outside corner. Starter ERA for Seattle, 4-2-5. Bullpen, though, 4-5-0. Keep in mind, Trumbo still available. Oh, and two to Hank. Conger hit by a pitch, a strikeout, and a walk. So he's 0 for 1. Efren Navarro on deck. Outside with a breaking pitch. Two balls, two strikes. Two two now. Hank lifts one out toward left. Saunders back a couple of steps. One out. So Efren will step to the plate now. Fielder's choice, a walk and a ground down. 0 for 2. First one's low.
Cole Calhoun lead off home run to start to say then making a 3-2 game Navarro takes a big swing comes up empty Well that baseball was hit a long way by Calhoun So Cal deals loosing up in the dugout in case Navarro gets on base here Let's see a pinch runner. Went back to that breaking ball and evens up the count of two and two now. Appreciation Day, 39,099. Sign out in uh, just the right of straightaway center field. Three million fans for the 11th straight season. Very impressive. Great fan support here in Anaheim. Breaking ball outside. Full count. Or has got to get a fastball here. This one on left field, it's a base hit. So a man on with one out here. Andrew Romine coming up. Here comes Calgill. A nice swing from Navarro, didn't try to do too much. Punches in the left field for a base hit. Dean has allowed three stone base and six attempts. Down in the dirt, gets away from Zunino. Calga will take the extra base. Overthrown fastball. Hits Joe West in the leg, but doesn't get far enough away where Calgill was able to read that. Good read. Get into scoring position. Good read. He just stayed put. Didn't commit to going back to the bag, and that's what allowed him to take that extra base. Representing the tying run. Romain takes outside, 2-0. and oh. And to me right now, what I've seen through... Four batters from Medina. You tell me if I'm wrong here. Not able to throw that breaking pitch for a strike. No, and you just got to center on the fastball. It's a good fastball, but it's relatively straight. So look fastball. Anything spinning, let it go. Three and oh. Top of the order, JB Shuck on deck. And he walked up. So two on now with one out. And JB Shuck coming up. He's been so clutch this entire season for the Angels. Carl Willis, the pitching coach, going to come out and pay a visit again. Carl Calgill is going to come over and talk things over with Dino Evil. Lucas Litke getting ready, the left-hander whom the Angels saw in Friday's game.
Jamie Shaco for three. Did draw a walk back in the third. Nybar on deck. Takes a fastball for a strike. Now Monte very shallow in center field as is Saunders in left. Saunders shading Chuck toward the line. Cal Gill tying run at second. Romine go ahead run at first. Breaking ball. Now he's got that pitch locked in there. Oh with two. That's a pretty good breaking ball. Very difficult to track the Jamie Shuck, especially when you, you see him watching the on deck circle. He hasn't been able to throw one for a strike. <laughs> oh, two. Hit out toward left field. Playable for Saunders and moved over to his left. Two outs. Calgill stays put. So it'll be up to Eric Ibar to keep this inning going. Eric go for four today. Last time up, lined out to Saunders and left. That was from the right side of the plate. No one want. Saunders playing pretty shallow in left. Almonte shallow in left center. The air is very deep in right field. Halos today 0 for 10 with men in scoring position. Going to make it 0 for 11. Well, head of the ninth. Angels down by a run. It's 3 2 Seattle. In the uh, bottom of the eighth inning, stays in the game. He's in right field. Cole Calhoun moves over to first base. TJ Wilson back out of the mound here the ninth, and he'll be facing Morales, Smoke, and Zunino. Eight innings, 112 pitches, seven hits, three runs, eight strikeouts. Kendrick Morales, one for three, a double with a run scored in the second. A good changeup to start off against Morales. We talked about Morales loves to hit the fastball. Good decision by CJ.
Two balls, one strike. Halos now have stranded 12 base runners in this game. Looks like Danny Farquhar getting ready for Seattle, the closers. That's down and in. Three balls, one strike. The last time around for Morales, fell behind the count 3 1, threw him a 3 1 slider. Followed up with a 3 2 fastball. He hit well to the right, but more like you might see a breaking ball here. This is line to left, laid off single. So Morales is on board, second hit for him today. We'll bring up Smoke. Stick around after the last down, Angels Live post game presented by your SoCal Mazda dealers. Tim Salmon's last show. Done. Back coming around Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. He's a weekend warrior, huh? Yep, that's it. So Kendi Chop is taking over at first base as a pinch runner. CJ's got two double plays already in the game. Could use one here. Where else with two hits, a double and a single. Nine for 21 in his career versus C.J. Wilson now for Kendrys Morales. This one lifted foul and out of play. That's an 0-1 count on Smoke. Homer his last time up. Two run shot. And Seattle back on top, 3-1. to one. 18th home run of the year and his first from the right side of the plate. Took something off on that one, 0 oh 2. And CJ's had a good change up today. This pitch he throw will be 120. Well, that ball was rifled into the seats. I hope everyone's okay on that one. Just past the three and a half hour mark. And remember, we had that 23 24 minute delay back in the third inning dealing with the uh, bees, the swarm of bees that came out. The uh, warning track out of right field and into center field. Kind of this one stolen base, but caught three times this season. One ball, two strikes. I don't even think if Mike Sosha with with CJ here, if you get a ground ball double play, more than likely we'll leave him in the game with Zanino coming up. Otherwise that pitch count mounting even higher for CJ, 121 pitches thrown. Two in the dirt. Good job by Hank locking that pitch in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes now on Justin Smoke. Morales with a leadoff single. Lenti Chavez pinch running for him at first base. 
change up here. So he can get it out in front. And he did. One down. And it looks like that's going to be it for C.J. Wilson with Mike Sosha coming out. And sure enough, he's going to go to the bullpen. So we have ourselves a pitching change here at the top of the ninth inning with a man on. Michael Kahn will come into this ball game. With the Angels down three to two. Ending job in this game for C.J. Wilson. Nine punch outs in eight in the third innings pitch. 123 pitches on this one walk. On his previous four starts against Seattle, hoping that Michael Kahn can shut the door here and let the offense pull one of their patented comebacks. End up getting no decision. Get Michael Kahn a victory here. 62nd game, a one and three record, 361 ERA. As Indy Chavez over at first base and Mike Zunino at the plate. Generally with the step off is followed with a throw over the first base. You gotta believe Indy Chavez is gonna be going here. One ball, no strikes. Mike had an issue. A couple of nights ago, as far as throwing strikes, fallen behind hitters, gave him three hits. One strikeout, one walk, two runs allowed. Good breaking ball there. And when he doesn't overthrow his slider, he has a very good slider. His changeup has improved. Fastball velocity there, he just has to trust those three pitches. One one pitch. It's fouled back. One and two. Angels in the bottom of the ninth inning have Trout, Hamilton, and Kendrick do up. Figure it'll be Danny Farquhar coming into the ballgame. Eddie Chavez hasn't shown any indication that he's going to be breaking towards second as of yet.
count remains at one ball, two strikes. Morales, a two hit game. Led off the second with a double and scored on the Zanino double. That gave Seattle a 1 0 lead. The Halos responded with a run in the second. This is foul back. Still at one and two. Three more games on the homestand tomorrow night. The Oakland Athletics coming to town. The American League West division champions. Finished a grand style today, too, against Minnesota. Scored 11 runs. Especially with Texas losing in the bottom of the ninth with a walk-off grand slam by Justin Maxwell. And Zanino goes down, swinging two down. Good fastball for Michael Kahn to get a swing and miss. Good sliders in that sequence against Zanino also. Challenge him up and in. Good running action. Hits a punch outs overall in this game. Yeah. That wild card situation now is Tampa and Cleveland in the top two spot. Texas now a game and a half back. What, 5 and 15 in the month of September for Texas? Yep. Texas goes home now for the week. Play Houston before we go in there for four. Yeah, three against Houston and four. That could be Houston. fun. That could be a lot of fun down there. And Franklin takes outside. It's one ball, no strikes. Franklin, the second baseman, one for three. He singled into seventh. Franklin pops it up left side Andrew Romine near the bag while stepping on it. How about that? It's like you're playing pig in basketball. You can do it all. Yeah, right. Got to call that though. Yes. Play to the bottom it. of the line. Trout, Hamilton, and Kendrick coming up for the Angels down three to two. On 3-2 Seattle. Eric Wedge has gone to the bullpen and brought in Danny Farquhar to try to close this one out. 14 saves and 18 opportunities. 43rd game overall and 0-3 mark and a 4.53 ERA. Yeah, Farquhar has got a good fastball. 92-97 cut fastball, which he throws quite a few. Curveball change up. Farquhar takes over for him. Juarez Medina ended up uh, getting J.B. Shuck hit a fly ball to last and Eric Ivar to ground out to end the threat in the eighth inning.
Mike Trout today 0 for 2. Two strikeouts, two walks. First one is upstairs. Hardcore averaging 13, just over 13 strikeouts per nine innings. Second among relievers. As this one's tapped foul. Picked up his first major league save on August 3rd against Baltimore. Called up from Triple A Tacoma on May 15th. Two balls, one strike. Some life on that fastball. He's averaging a little over 13 strikeouts per nine innings. And that is out toward left center field. Michael Saunders moving back on it. And as he steps onto the track, makes the catch. One out. Well, any time in the day you hit a ball pretty well, you think it has a chance of getting out. That got to the warning track. But off towards the end of the bat. It's the only reason why that baseball stayed in the ballpark, but still so strong, drove it all the way out to the warning track. Hamilton looks at a strike. Josh over three, three punch outs and a walk. Four hits for the Angels, 12 men left on base. So the opportunities certainly were there today and have been. That one's a strike and it's 0 2. Foul back. It lulls you to sleep with that slow breaking ball and then throws that 95 mile per hour fastball at you. Real good life. Hamilton 0 for 2 against Farquhar in his career. Breaking pitch, line in the right field, a base hit. With that one for three now. Yeah, tying man, tying runner, I should say, is on base. And now with Kendrick coming up. Now he won for four on the afternoon, a double with a run scored back in the second. Gutierrez is dealing with the sunshine, makes the grab, two outs. So the Angels down to the last out here, and Cole Calhoun will come to the plate. Cole Homering to lead off the eighth inning to make this a one run deficit for the Angels. And that ball was crushed to dead center field. Well, he's had some big hits. It's coming back up. To the show here for the Angels, Cole Calhoun. First fastball down low. Another left handed batter, Hank Conger on deck. Farquhar, the fifth reliever used by Eric Wedge. 2-0. Oh. Back-to-back -back cut fastballs. Doesn't want to put Hamilton in scoring position via a walk here to Calhoun, so probably going to challenge him. This one looped. Third base shot, foul territory, Seeger near the railing, and Seattle takes the finale of this three-game set. The final this afternoon, three to two Mems. Boy, another close game played against Seattle. One-run game. It's 
Seattle will be able to win this one three to two. Justin Smoke, a two-run home run, a difference maker in the sixth inning. C.J. Wilson threw the ball very well himself. Falls to 17-7. Oliver Perez picks up the win. Seattle wins this one 3-2. The Salvage, the third game. Stick around for Angels Live with Victor Rojas and Tim Sam. We're going to break it all down for you.